Hey guys, uh, welcome to your uh, prediction reading for the next six months for Virgo. Um, this could be in any of your placements because this reading could be about anything. So we're going to take a look and see what you guys uh, need to know, what's around you guys, what you guys could expect for the next six months from July to December. Uh, so like I said, you could apply this to any of your placements because this reading could be about anything. So apply this to your own unique situation. Keep in mind that these are general messages. Take what resonates and leave the rest behind. If this message didn't resonate with you, you may take a look at your other placements. Keep in mind that these are collective messages for the collective Virgo people, not tapping into one specific person's energies in particular. So if you're looking for a reading that's tailored to your specific unique situations and your energies, I suggest you to uh, book a personal reading with me. The uh, link for that is in the description box below. Like, share, comment, subscribe. Hit the notification bell so that you guys get notified on when my new videos post and when I go live. Um, also, if you guys are interested in booking, uh, um, not booking, uh, following me on TikTok and on Instagram, the links for those are in the description box below. Um, I do post readings on there too, okay? So tell me about uh, Virgo. Tell me about Virgo. What can Virgo expect for uh, the rest of the uh, rest of 2023 from July? to December. What does uh, Virgo need to know? What's surrounding Virgo? What can Virgo expect for the rest of 2023 from July to December for Virgo? Virgo. All right, let's see. Tell me about Virgo here. Tell me about Virgo. Seven of Swords, Five of Pentacles, Eight of Pentacles, and the Three of Cups. Be careful of a work situation here, um, uh, Virgo. I do feel like there are individuals in your work group here that trying to sabotage you or take advantage of you. You know, it could be a situation that, you know, you're doing all the work here and I feel like these individuals might try to steal your idea or take credit for what you've done here, okay? So this is in the work situation here. I do feel like you're de dealing with like a shady work environment. Or this could be in friendship here too, okay? So just apply this to your own unique situation. Virgo in August, Virgo in August. Six of Swords in the reverse. Something's not moving forward here for you, uh, Virgo, okay? Could be work, the devil, Capricorn energy, the judgment card and the 10 of wands here. There is something that you're not letting go of or moving on from. Whatever you're holding on to, I do feel like this is creating a lot of heavy energy in and around your life. So I feel like with the Judgment card, Ten of Wands here, whatever you're holding on to, whatever it may be, burdens, past hurt, pain, uh, behavioral issues, codependency, you know, um, you know, temptation, you know, whatever it is, I feel like it's time to let it go and move on from it. Okay, could be, you know, toxic relationships, you know, could be toxic friendships, could be toxic family members or work situations here. Okay, Capricorn energy with the devil, judgment, Sagittarius energy. Tell me about Virgo in uh, September, Virgo in September, Virgo in September, Ten of Pentacles. Okay, we have the Hierophant, the Four of Cups here and the Ace of Swords. I feel like when it comes to your life, I do feel like you're looking for more. I do feel like I'm looking for a higher purpose here. So I feel like during this time, in order to find those answers on what you're looking for here, it's important for you to um, uh, connect with the higher power here, uh, whatever you believe in, whichever deity do, that you believe in or multiple deities. You know, sometimes that hierophant could be a re representation to me is a middle person. Uh, you know, a middleman, such as like a therapist, an energy worker, a, a life coach, because I do feel like you're, you are seeking answers. You're looking for something more here. I feel like, you know, even though maybe you've gained a lot of success in your career, your money here, I just feel like there's a sense of looking for more. Okay. So uh, Virgo in October, Virgo in October. We have the Knight of Pentacles, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. We have the Six of Pentacles in the reverse. There is this work situation that you just cannot give to anymore. Yeah, I feel like you've been patient. I feel like you're, you've are you been waiting for things to get better here, but things are not getting better. So it's it feels like a work drama is like slowly kind of playing out for the rest of the year here for you guys. Okay, the Knight of Pentacles, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, uh, Six of Pentacles in the reverse, the Strength card, Leo energy, and the Five of Wands here. 
seems like you're about to blow a gasket here. Whatever you're going through here regarding this work situ situation, I feel like it's to the point where you almost cannot stand it here. Okay, tell me about Virgo in November. Virgo in November, Seven of Wands. We have the Lovers in the Reverse, King of Swords here, and the Chariot here. Yeah, so what we have here is I feel like you're making plans to move on from something here that's no longer serving you. There's a lack of balance, there's a lack of harmony here, so it could be that, yeah, you could be ending a work situation here, or you could be ending relationships here that are not working for you either. Uh, perhaps you're creating strong, firm boundaries with these individuals here, uh, 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 um, uh, Virgo, okay? So the Seven of Wands here, the Lovers in the Reverse, Gemini Energy, the King of uh, Swords here, Libra, Aquarius, Gemini, and the Chariot, Cancer Energy. Tell me about Virgo in December. Tell me about Virgo in December. We have the Seven of Cups in the Reverse. Yeah, so what we have here, as you go towards the end of the year, you're getting a better view or a better understanding or gaining clarity of what you want to do in the future here. Going back to uh, September, there's some sort of confusion or that you're looking for more. So I feel like you've gained some sort of clarity. And I feel like you will make plans to pursue what the next thing is for you here now this this is more so regarding your life here work life here uh, some of you guys could be realizing that okay it's time to move it's time for me to move on from where i'm living in right now and sort of like move towards a new a town a city a country or something like that with the king of cups cancer scorpio pisces and the four swords here so i feel like you're finally gaining clarity here okay i feel like you're making peace with your past here of what you've experienced here you know i feel like you've learned a lot through this progress uh, process here and i feel like you're just finding a lot of stability peace and balance here you know yeah i do feel like uh, you know it could be that there are new new uh, there's new uh, work opportunities that are coming towards you or, or that you are taking a new job here that will um you know take you somewhere else where you have to physically move away here with the four of pentacles here and the four of one yes you guys are moving to a new home uh, but with all the fours here you're definitely finding some sort of stability here towards the end of the year look at all the fours here look at all the fours here seems like you're releasing a lot of burdens here a lot of trauma yeah towards the end of the year you're going to be experiencing a lot of changes i feel like in most areas of your life um, i'm not really seeing new love here or any love situation going on here but this is more so like a work trajectory kind of like playing out for the rest of the year here okay so virgo i hope that this was helpful i hope that this resonated if it did leave a comment down in the comment section below like this video, share this video, subscribe, hit the notification bell, and I'll speak to you guys in the next one. Thanks, guys. Bye.